Now it's estimated 30% of those who were diagnosed with COVID struggle with what's called long COVID. And while they may have recovered from the disease, they're left with some life changing issues. During this Alzheimer and Brain Awareness Month, News Channel 5's Olivia Michael talked with an expert at Vanderbilt studying the possible connection between the disease and lasting neurological issues. It's something Dr. James Jackson sees every day. It's far more than a fog. It's really disruptive functionally. It's impairing and it's disabling. The Vanderbilt researcher is studying why some long COVID patients struggle with their memory. It is putting metal in the microwave. It is backing into cars in the parking lot. It is stopping at green lights, driving through red lights. He says long COVID may have accelerated dementia symptoms in older patients. In younger ones, he sees signs of ABI or acquired brain injuries. When you have an ABI, there's no external mover. There's no traumatic event that happens. There are medical, internal, biological processes at work, not getting enough oxygen, developing delirium, having something we call neuroinflammation. Kate Whitley is part of a long COVID support group at Vanderbilt. It took me about six, eight weeks to finally be able to return to my job and then my work. And, uh, and then I was never fully the same. The entrepreneur says she's relied on her employees to help keep her business alive. All I just kept saying was I've lost my ability to think. She says her neurological issues impact every part of her life. I double book. I triple book things. I have short term memory loss. But Dr. Jackson remains optimistic, especially for those who seek treatment. Something called uh, cognitive rehabilitation. It's a little different than therapy. It's certainly not a psychotherapy. It is uh, learning strategies and techniques and tools to work around the deficits you have and to be more empowered. He's hoping that with more research will come answers so that people like Kate can live the life they once did. Olivia Michael, News Channel 5. Dr. Jackson recently published his own book. It's called Clearing the Fog. It's a guide for those living with long COVID and for their families.